What's up everybody, Dazed here, back with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 video. Now today we continue on with our expert mission series, and I show you how to be expert mission number 12. Now as always, stick around to the very end, and you will have no surprises in this mission. You can see exactly what you're up against, and we will be doing this offline. This is only using the CPU for your help, so for anybody that doesn't have PS Plus or Xbox Gold Live, whatever it's called, this is what you need to help get you through. Now, you get Angry Explosion from this, so if that's a move you're looking for, this is where you're going to get it. And also Demon Realm Crystal. Now, as always, I'm going to use my balance build on this. If you want to know what that is, I will leave a suggested video above, and you can check that out. Now, right from the start, as always, we want to use Ultimate Charge. Uh, if you don't have that, use Max Charge or whatever you do have, but you want to charge up right from the beginning. If you have Ultimate Charge, you're going to have five bars before they even come out. Now he's got a lock on to me, so I'm going to have to run around him. But as soon as he's unlocked, we're going to stop. And we're going to go back to charging up. And then we're going to go ahead and use our Awoken skill, which is Potential Unleashed. Now we're fully powered up. Now, these apes are a little bit stronger. Or actually, I believe it's just him. A little bit stronger than normal. Usually, I could just throw these giant key blasts out there like this. And break through pretty easily. They weren't doing that much here. I even tried some of my actual key blast moves and really just not having a real good effect so don't do what i did here and just start firing off that emperor's death beam start firing off whatever ultimate you're going to use because it's going to bust through it real quick and get to damaging them which they don't take a lot of damage either compared to the other ones you faced up to this point i can usually take two bars of health with a full emperor's death beam i didn't get hardly anything off that so your attacks are weakened or they're buffed up as far as health goes. Now after we've damaged him a little bit or a little bit of time in battle, I don't know how it works, he's got to throw out the giant key blast that you've got to repel. Spirit Blaster. I would use nothing but Spirit Blaster on this from now on. Two of them and it's gone. It just keeps firing at it and then bam, pushes it away. Nothing in my opinion works better than that. So now that we've got that done, we're just going to go back to trying to get as much damage on him as we can. It's a grind on this one. And then he's going to come out with his second boss move, and he's going to punch the ground and send you flying through the portals. Now, these can be very annoying, tedious. It does happen a bunch in here. So be prepared to go through these and fight whoever. Now, these guys are usually pretty easy, so you're just going to get right through, beat them real quick, and get back. That's the goal here. We're going to face Nappa right now. It's going to be a real easy fight. We're going to speed right through that. You don't want to sit there and watch that. And then get back. Now, good thing to do is charge up or replenish your, your stamina before you come back. And now we're not yet back. Now we're in the mountains at night and we're going to fight Vegeta. Now, this is still a very, very easy person to fight. We're going to speed right through that. And now we're finally back at the wasteland. Now, for some reason, I'm going to just fly back and forth right here. I really don't know what I was doing at this point. But now we're going to have to deal with yet another boss move. I don't remember what this one is called. It's a real pain in the butt, but you could just block it. And then just go right back to damaging him. Alright, and once you get his health down again so far, he's going to go back and we're going to get yet another boss move. He's going to punch the ground. He's going to knock us back through the portals yet again. Like I said, this is going to become tedious in this one. Uh... You just got to deal with it. Really, just a lot of those boss moves. He, he does them all the time. It's really annoying. Hopefully, if you're just going for the move on this, you get it unlocked first try, so you never have to do this one again. So now we're back at the mountains at night, and we're going to fight Vegeta again. And, you know, just like before, it's really easy fight. We're going to get right through it, and then back through the portal. Remember, charge up before you go back through. If your stamina is low, break it and let it regain before you come back through. Be prepared. And we're going to come back in, and we're just going to keep doing damage. Just do as much damage as you can. He will keep throwing out those boss moves. But, you know, there's not much you can do about that. And again, back through them portals. It's it's real annoying, but, you know, if you haven't done it, haven't gotten the move unlocked, and you really want it, you just you got to keep dealing with this. Uh, I wish they'd knock you through different portals every time. Yeah, it gets a little, little annoying just fighting the same person over and over. So after we get back through, uh, you're not going to have to deal with being knocked through portals anymore. That is over. Now we're just chipping away at his health. 
And if you'll notice right here, I am doing a lot more damage to him now. I don't know if it just happens when you when you come back from going through that last portal or what. But now we're actually doing damage. I go for the tail grab, but the CPU gets it. And that's going to finish this mission up. A uh, little bit harder, if you noticed, uh, my CPUs, all their health is pretty low. And that's something that we're going to have to start dealing with in future expert missions. They're going to get a little bit harder. We have to worry about them dying too much because we want to keep them alive. We want to keep them with as much health as possible. And that is going to start being an issue. So if you're having trouble with anything beyond this one, look for my videos. They are going to, they are going to show you what you should do to make sure your, your, your CPU stay alive and you get through the mission. I did all of these in one shot. I had no problem. I didn't die at any of them. They are a lot easier than I remember them being when the game first came out. I know they've uh, done some patches and stuff and fixed some things, but they seem a lot easier. I struggled with some of them when the game first came out, and now I ran through them like it was nothing. So, look forward to those other expert missions coming out soon, and uh, take a look at anything else on my channel. I've got character creations and all, so check those out. As always, if you like the content I'm putting out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.